Welcome back. One shot, two wheels. It's your boy. Video number two of the day, man. Hey, I'm pushing them out. Pushing them out. So, FN509 Tactical. I have. If you haven't checked out my unboxing, please go on my playlist. Check out the unboxing of 509C Tactical and see what all come in there. Um, <clears throat> I have done a couple of videos already about this. Um, and in one of my videos, I told you I was ordering a... Um, a new um, case for my gun. So that case has just arrived. And it is, I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, make this out a little bit clearer. CYA. Um, I tried this case out. I, I was researching online. I, you know, I tried to, I, I want to try out different cases, um, holsters. I, I'm calling them cases. Oh my gosh, where am I been? So I want to try out different holsters. Um, just to see how they react and see how they are. And so I tried this this holster. Um, sorry about moving the camera all this way. You know what? I think I might need to get me like one of those pods that I can just hold it and and move it around the way I need to. Um, but that's neither here or there. So like I was saying, I tried a new case. I was looking on YouTube and I was trying to find out um, what would be the best case I can use. What would be... Damn, I keep on saying case. Sorry, I'm still thinking about work. What would be the best holster I can use um, for my 509? So, um, toasters. I like the toasters. Um, holsters. I definitely love them. I have that for my, um, like I was saying in my other video, I have that for my Glock 19. And I have it for my um, Hellcat. And then I tried different other holsters. Um, I tried We The People um, for my fs uh i'm talking my not fs i'm thinking about my 45 i haven't bought a holster for that but my sig m18 i tried we the people holsters i kind of didn't like that one. um for my for my uh smith and weston i tried the alien holsters didn't like those either um so far i like i just like the toaster holster so i'm finna go back and order out um order uh, cases for my oh, I'm going to go back and order holsters for my my um for my Smith Smith and Western and for my um Sig M18 so I when purchasing this gun I bought this holster um CYA um I didn't know anything about it um I was watching some YouTube channel and they man they was high on this holster and so far when I got it, I just received it, just picked it up in the mail. It came rather fast, actually. I ordered it on Monday, and today is Thursday. So I got it pretty fast. Um, so that's a good thing. I really like that. I, and by the way, guys, I am not sponsor, sponsored by them at all. I just try, I'm just trying out their holsters. I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. Um, I put it in my gun. Um, uh, it feels good. Like I was saying, I wanted to get something. So when I add my red dot, it doesn't, it doesn't hit the dot. It doesn't hit the, um, you know, it doesn't hit my, my red dot. It doesn't knock it off center or anything with the holster or me trying to shove the gun in there. It stops just at this point. I put tension on it, um, uh, with this screw right here. You guys can see that, that screw right there. I put tension on it because... Um, you know, just tighten it up to make sure that it, it grips the gun. Make sure that that gun is not wobbly when it comes out. So, I, hey, so far, I mean, I, I stuck it in here. It feels pretty good. You know, I tried it out, um, concealed carry for a little bit, um, walked, walked around with it, but I really let you guys know. So I want to do like, maybe like a, um, a three day review. On these host on this holster um well i mean a three weeks review or maybe i'll just do a month review i think that'd be better i'm talking about three weeks you know, i'll do a month review in this holster um try it out see you know give you the feedback of how i like it i'm like so right now the only holster that i like is the toaster and We'll see if I can find some other holsters that I like. But with this 509, baby, um, like I say, I'm going to take it to the range. I see how it feels carrying. Um, of course, you know I'm going to have my real EDC on me. Um, 
But I have this on the range, and we'll see how it looks. I give you guys the final review. Forgot. So this is how the holster look when you have it in when your gun is sitting in. Like I was saying, so this sits right here where my red dot would be sitting. So you won't be hitting it. You nothing would be hitting it. Nothing would interfere with it, which is what I wanted to get. So I was looking for a holster like that, which is why I'm glad that they provided this for me. You can see the overall feel for the gun. You can see the length of the gun. Um, like that back side right there. Definitely like that you it's protected right here where you can't um, lock it. You can't test the grip. You can't test anything. You can't accidentally make it go out. Um, you can chamber in there, which is a great thing. So you can chamber on your belt if that's what you choose to do. If But it's secure. It's tight. It has tension on the gun. So you can see that gun is not coming out with me moving. Um, matter of fact, I'm going live tonight. Well, I'm not going to go live tonight, but I am going to do a podcast. And one of the things we're going to talk about is the holster because um, I see, like, even in the gun store that I bought the gun from, I see people with a gun um, in their holster and the gun be all flopping all around because the holster, it doesn't secure the gun. Like, I don't mind, you know, like, if you moving the gun, you know, when you carry it on the outside, of course, the gun's going to move a little bit. But your gun shouldn't be almost looking like if, if you was to fall, your gun going to come out. You know, it's it's not secure. And for you to be in a gun store and you be the person working in a gun store and you have a holster like that, that's crazy and ridiculous. So that's what we're going to talk about on my podcast. I'm actually going to talk about this holster. Um, and the, even in the gun store, it was a guy looking for a holster for his. Uh, I want to say he had. What did he have? I don't know if he had a Glock. He had he had a Glock. I just don't remember what brand uh what what number it was. I'm not gonna say it was a Glock 19 because I would have remembered that one because that's the that's actually what I was carrying at the time was my Glock 19. Um, but regardless, I told him about because he was looking in the store trying to find the right host and it just wasn't fitting right. So he was going through all these things. He and he was actually buying them, and I'm like, dude, why are you why are you buying holsters? Because I guess he wanted something right then, right then, so he kept on buying. Like he he bought like three or four holsters. I was like, and I, I went to him. I was just like, hey man, go to toaster.com, tussler.com. They actually have a holster. I showed him the holster, and I let him see, you know, the holster that I was using for my Glock. And you know, I just you know, disable it or not disable it, but you know. I unloaded it, made sure it was clear. And I let him see, like, he actually put my holster on. I mean, he actually put it on. It's like, look, this is secure. This is this. And like, I'm, I'm I'm, thinking I'm the sales agent for the holster. But I was just like, dude, because you need to properly protect yourself. And your weapon need to be properly secured. That's one of the things about carrying. And so you have all these new people who are starting to carry. And they're not protecting their weapon. They're not securing their weapon. So actually finna go on podcast about that. Um, a little bit later on today, and that's one of the things we're gonna talk about is holsters, uh, and what I just saw in the gun gun store when I was buying this, when I was picking this up, this bad baby right here. So of course, the very first thing I ordered was my holster first, and then I ordered another magazine and two more 15s. Um, but. That's this, like I said, the CYA. Um, I definitely want to go. I want to try it out. I want to use it. I want to see how it looks, feel. I give you if it if it works, if it sucks, because I bought it with my own money. So I'm gonna tell you how it really is. And I'm a, I'm a tag I'm a tag them in it too when I put the video up. I'm really gonna tell it how it is. So, and I really want them to know that feedback. But this is a holster, like I say. One of the great features I like about it is it's like halfway and it's not going to hit my red dot. So once I put it on there, that's going to be the next thing I do to this gun to put a red dot on there. So it's coming. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I know we've been nine minutes strong. So if you stay to the end, man, do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know what you think about the gun. Let me know what you think about the holster. And hit that like button and subscribe button. And once again, it's your boy. I'm out of